Jimmy, great to see you. Good to see you. Welcome to Texas. Thank you. Um, thank you for welcoming me, and I really do feel welcome here. Everyone's been so nice to me. Well, I don't want to leave. Southern hospitality. I see you brought your sweater too. Very good. Very good I made idea. A mistake. <laughs> you can't. You can. You can take the kid out of New York. You can't take the New York out. I mean, I. I that, well, it's too. I, it's too hot. Why am I wearing this? You look this great. One? I wear them every day. You do. I do. You I do. do. I love that. Thank you. A little bump Rocket up there. pop. So talk to me about why you're why you're in Austin because this is the first time you are doing the Tonight Show from a college campus. Yeah. So why now? We well we wanted to uh, kind of say thanks to all of our fans and you know a, a lot of uh, most of our fans are college students so we wanted to pick a good school that would have big energy and want to have us so we just kind of floated around the idea of maybe coming to UT and uh, the feedback was immediate and like on it and like. The energy was there immediately, so we're like, okay, let's look no further. Let's have this be our first school. If this works, we can do other schools. But uh, it's been insane. I'm trying not to lose my voice. We've been here a couple days, and whew, it's a party. Well, listen, there's a lot of buzz on campus. The fact that you're here is a really big deal. What do you make of your digital success online? Because I know on YouTube, you have 22 million subscribers, oh, crazy. most watched late night show on YouTube. So in addition to the broadcast, it seems like you've really found your rhythm in digital. Yeah, I think, you know, we always have that since late night days. Uh, of uh, paying attention to our fans and, and, and keeping in communication with them through social media. And so uh, we've always done that. We've always been the first to do that, whether it be Twitter. Uh, I remember when I first started Twitter, I had like 100 followers. And I'm like, oh my gosh, guys, we have 100 followers. That's 100 more people that are going to be watching our show. And I was so excited. We were like having like parties in the office that I have 100 followers. And now I'm up to like 51 million or something. And That's it's like, incredible. Oh my goodness. We just built this whole uh social media uh, empire and it's uh it's great and it actually helps when you go on the road and come here because you can find out what the good spots are to eat where do you go to a bar where do you go to what what things do you have to do while you're on campus and uh it's uh it helps and it's fun so talk to me a little bit about the creative process because i know that on twitter like you'll have hashtags that are trending and is like what's the strategy how do you come up with some of these ideas we have a bunch of lunatics working for <laughs> us and uh we kind of just get the the best ideas from them and just play and have fun which is honestly another reason why we came to texas because it just looks like it's fun here and uh, everyone's having a good time uh but yeah we come up with these ideas if someone's like uh let's think of uh you know uh, a sketch where who has uh, who's wearing tighter pants and they have a competition uh, who has the tightest pants uh, in the land and you sing a song about it. Next thing you know, we're getting wardrobe, we have wigs, Will Ferrells and tight pants and we're doing a tight, tight pants dance. And it just kind of happens and you gotta roll the dice and risk and try it and some things are great and some things aren't the best. Yeah, but And let's talk about some of those things that aren't the best because was there ever a time in your career when there was like, I don't know, like a gag or a joke that just didn't land and you thought, oh man, oh. I blew it, like oh. it's over. It happens, it happens every week. You have to do it, you have to try it, you have to risk. Uh, because you never know what's going to be, uh, people are talking about the next day. You, there's no way you can plan on something going viral or not working. But yeah. We've done so many things that have just been embarrassing. I'm like, oh my gosh, you remember we did that? Like, I remember once we strapped frozen turkeys to people and had them race. <laughs> what were we doing? Oh my gosh, it was awful. But you remember it though. <laughs> well, dude, <laughs> Probably I think other people, people bring do. it up, all the writers bring it up all the time. We, uh, we should almost put together like the worst of The Tonight Show. Because we've done some really awful, embarrassing things where you're just like, Oh, cringy, cringy, the worst. And the worst could be the best. Hey, can we talk about history of dance, too, with J-Lo? <laughs> oh, my God. How long did it take for you... To catch my breath? Yeah, or, or just to yesterday. learn it. <laughs> because when it first started, I was like, wow, he's actually a really good dancer. But that clearly took some practice, right? I practiced for, I want to say, three weeks to do that. And I did it. It was okay. I took me three weeks for that. J-Lo took her 20 minutes, and she just nailed everything. She was like, I miss J-Lo. You don't play around dancing with... J, J, Jennifer Lopez. She's superhuman. Uh, she was unbelievable, superhuman. Uh, talk about it, what a year for her, huh? Yeah. Hustlers. She's gonna. I think she's gonna get nominated for an Oscar. She's incredible. And doing the Super Bowl, she's having a year. I mean, she's puts the work in. But I did that, and we did it in one take. And I seriously was on the ground hoping that someone would come with an oxygen tank. And she's like, <laughs> I was like, <gasps> we never would have known. Really? Yeah, you seem so chill. Oh my gosh. Again, that was one that we just pulled it off. Sometimes, again, you just got to take the risk. And if you pull it off and it works, you go, wow, that worked. Let's talk about um, your life today because I know you just released your third children's book. Instant Like premiered number one New York Times bestselling <laughs> book. Crazy? 
crazy. It's incredible. It makes no sense. But let's go back to when you, you moved to LA, 21 years old, 1995, right? And you were performing at places like the Improv, oh my God. getting $7 for a set. Yeah. Fast forward to today. Do you ever think back to that time and just sort of pinch yourself? Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't even imagine what uh, my life would be at the time. You just kind of just live and just hope for the best. But I mean, I was yet yeah, getting, the reason why I love the improv is that you get food there as well. So I, I, my mom would love that I'm playing the improv. She's like, yes, you're eating because uh, you actually get food there. So it's, they pay you $7 a set, but you actually get a meal, which if you're a struggling comedian in L.A. or struggling, I mean, you lived in L.A. for a while, you know what it's like. I mean, you live off of ramen noodle soup for yeah. the whole week uh, just to get anything different. So you look back in those days and they were tough and they're depressing and you go, oh, am I ever going to make it or do it? And then it just works out and you go, yeah, this is just a crazy, crazy life. And I'm so blessed. I'm so lucky. And uh, I, 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 every day I can't even believe what's how great and how awesome and beautiful my wife is. I'm like, wow, you really scored, buddy. This is really awesome. It's fun. I was talking to my mom yesterday. She's like, I don't know what Jimmy's wife looks like, and I know he doesn't want to go public, so could you just have him show you a picture of his wife so you can describe her to me? <laughs> she has just well, she's blonde hair, blue eyes, uh, big smile. Uh, she's awesome. She's a... Uh, She's my best friend, and she's just the coolest, coolest person. If you ever met her, you would just totally fall in love. You'd be best friends with my wife. Okay. She's just the One day. most fun human. Yeah, we'll hang. Jimmy, thank you so much. Please, I, thanks for Glad doing this. I appreciate Texas. it. I'm not leaving, so I'm going to come over. Do Airbnb at all? Uh, yeah. All right, perfect. Yeah, we have room at our place. Come right. on over. Thanks, buddy. Thanks.